Hi, I'm Rachel with Ally Safety, and over the past few years, we've done a few different videos on hard hats. And although we could have done more videos on hard hats, I would have to admit that up until recently, there actually wasn't a lot to say about them because they haven't really seen many changes since the 1930s when they were first introduced on industrial projects. But as important as the hard hat's job is, its simplistic design has done the bare minimum in protecting our heads. If that was your head instead of a watermelon, the hard hat did a decent job. But that doesn't mean it protects against traumatic brain injury or a broken neck. This is a standard Type 1 hard hat. It's what you're going to see at almost any construction site across the United States. And what it's built to do and what it's really good at doing is protecting against impacts to the top of the head. This is a Type 2 hard hat and it's actually built to absorb both top and side impacts. The way that it does that is by using a padding on the inside of the hard hat, which in this case is styrofoam. It's this type of high-tech technology that's protecting your brain. The problem with how type 1 and type 2 hard hats are tested is that they're tested in a laboratory setting like this, where you may be able to simulate a perfect top impact or side impact. But we all know we live in a three-dimensional world. The thing is, if you're actually out working and get hit in the head, chances are, there's very likely to be a rotation of the head. Most traumatic brain injuries are caused by falls. The average hard hat isn't designed to protect the head against hits at an angle or in the event of a fall. Now, don't get me wrong. A hard hat can make the difference between life and death, and we statistically know that it does. But it has needed an upgrade for several decades, and today, I'm gonna test out a promising new candidate right here in Portland. So let's get going. The Wave Cell Hard Hat has been a work in progress for almost 20 years now and is designed by engineers and orthopedic surgeons right here in Portland, Oregon. They recognize that although a lot of serious injuries can be treated with modern medicine effectively, traumatic brain injuries have devastating consequences that not even the best science can overcome. What causes traumatic brain injuries is the rotational forces on the impact of the head, like this. See the difference between a top impact and an impact that causes rotation of the head? That deformation of the brain model is similar to what happens to people during a traumatic brain injury. The difference with a wave cell hard hat is that it absorbs 73% more of the rotational force that causes traumatic brain injuries. And it protects the head more effectively from a variety of impacts than a type one and type two. It can also result in up to 98% less concussion risk than a standard hard hat. Now, those are some pretty big claims. So let's check it out and see if it functions differently than a traditional hard hat. We're going to start by using this model here. This has a neck that articulates like a human neck and it's actually the same type of neck that's used in crash test dummies. What we're going to do is we're going to take this clear type 1 hard hat and drop it so that it gets a hit at an angle. Hopefully that'll give us a better insight into what happens in these types of accidents. So as for how the hard hat did, we have a few broken pieces of plastic, but ultimately the suspension absorbed a lot of the impact and it broke the suspension. So I think any of us could watch that and say, well, that looked pretty bad. 
what we're looking at here is the higher the peak rotational force, the more likely you are to suffer a brain injury. In this case, your injury probability after an incident like that is gonna be about 15.6%. Now let's see how a type 2 does on the same test. So in this situation, the suspension and the hard hat have separated. So the hard hat it does look like took a lot of the impact, but obviously didn't really work that well because it's completely fallen apart here. The interesting thing is, with the Type 2 hard hat, sometimes you can actually get a little bit more of a rotational force because this foam can help to grip the head a little bit more. Remember, the higher the rotation, the more likely an injury is. And that gives us an injury probability of 28.1% for a brain injury. And last but definitely not least, let's try the WaveCell T2 Plus, which is actually designed to handle an impact like this. So what we're looking at here is that initial impact. So watch what happens. You can see the wave cell and the wave material inside reacting. Now, in a normal hard hat, that's not gonna move along with the head, and that's gonna cause that rotational force that can lead to brain injury. As the hard hat moves, it's following the movement of the head. The movement of the hard hat isn't influencing the movement of the head. And so, as the head recoils, the hard hat continues to follow it. So what we're seeing is that initial impact was softened by the wave material inside the hard hat, and it wasn't causing more rotational stress on the head. So the injury probability on this one is 0.1%. Now compare that to what we had earlier with a 15.6% and a 28%. During the second impact, there may be bumps and bruises, but the brain itself is more protected. How's that for an upgrade in head protection? So if you watch this channel a lot, you know I like testing out safety products because we always learn something along the way. But I'll be honest with you, that was a bit more eye-opening than I anticipated. I think seeing the difference in traditional hard hats versus how these hard hats performed made a much bigger impact on me than just knowing the difference between a type one and a type two. I also think it made the styrofoam lined type two hard hat seem kind of like a feeble attempt at head protection. But what were your thoughts? I'd be interested to hear. And for those of you who have experience with these types of hard hats, let me know in the comments below. Along with that, let us know what you'd like to see us test next. As always, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video if you enjoyed it. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.